and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Jessica and welcome. In today's video, we are doing this gorgeous, colorful, rainbow, boss ass bitch is turning 34 look. If you guys want to see how I got this look, just keep on watching. But before you do, let's just, let's get into the fact that my birthday's tomorrow. By the time I post this video, my birthday will be the next day, March 8th, and I'm going to be 34. 34. Where has my life gone? No, in all honesty, I am so excited to be 34. I am where I'm at in life. Um, I don't post a lot of stuff on social media and I don't talk a lot about personal stuff. I am happy. I'm where I want to be in life as far as my career, um, which could get higher. We'll see in the near future. I purchased my house. Like, I'm very established and I'm not trying to toot my own horn but I'm very established for a 34 year old and it's only gonna get better from here so I'm not dreading my birthday like if you asked me this 10 years ago oh my god I'm turning 34 I would be sobbing but right now I'm like I'm a boss ass bitch like I'm a boss ass bitch and I'm turning 34 who's with me if you guys want to see how I got this makeup look using my favorite products at the moment then keep on watching but before you do don't forget to subscribe to my channel give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment down below wish my ass a happy birthday and let's get into this all right so we have already got my base on I figured i'd talk about my favorite products as far as my base products because my base i mean look at her let's start with the actual base so recently I have been loving and I've talked about this in a previous video but I've been loving the elf daily moisturizing um, the daily hydrating moisturizer this is an absolute must for me so I use this every single day before I put on my makeup it's definitely what it claims to be it's definitely hydrating and it's a moisturizer that is phenomenal so on top of that i recently just got this golden fatten md it's a vitamin or vital boost so i have been obsessed with this this has a vitamin d hyaluronic acid and gooseberry and it is oh my god combination of that and elf combined is extraordinary for primer i went in with the tatcha this is the liquid skin canvas i've already talked about this this is absolutely one of my favorites i will be repurchasing this this is my second purchase it's a little pricey bitch but she is well worth it she just is another primer that smooths out my skin and just gives it like a very polished look as well as hydrating so we are all about hydration bitch we are all about hydration i have been loving the combination that jacqueline hill has um mentioned in her latest video so I did a video of Jaclyn Hill inspired products. I'll leave the link of the thumbnail here. I'm not sure if it's going to be before this video or after. Probably after this video. I decided to go along with that combination because look at my skin. It just looks so freaking good. The combination that she uses and that I have been loving is the NARS. This is the, I think it's the creamy... Oh, this is the Natural Radiant Long Found Longwear Foundation. So I am in the shade Marquise. I've been using this one as well as with the Hourglass Vanish um, Foundation Stick. And this is in Walnut. Take this foundation stick and I swipe, just a little bit of swipes on my face. Just like five, I would say, four or five. And then I go in with the foundation and I blend it all out together. It just, such a great combination and then what i did today to top it off to give me a little bit of glowy skin but not too much is i used the auric glow lust now i did a video of this and i'll leave the link here but i did a video um reviewing this and i absolutely love it it left my skin super super dewy super super glowy and what i will say is the last time i did a full face of it and then i went in with my foundation but this time i just mixed this in with my foundation and i think i like that a lot better i think next time i will do a little bit more because i didn't do as much pumps but i think mixing this with your foundation is amazing i like that more better because the other look was such a wet dewy look and if you like that then go for it oh my god my voice if you like that then go for it but for me 
I really like this mixed in with my foundation, so that's what I did. Bronzer, let's get into bronzer and contour, bitch. You already know what I'm gonna say. The Fenty Espresso Bronzer Stick, oh my god. She blends like a dream, holy shit. The best product ever, and I used to not be one for a creamy bronzer or creamy product or creamy contour, but bitch. She has changed my life. What I like right now, as far as the combination with that one, is the Minted Bronzer in Yacht Life. She is precious. So good as a combination. It blends out so well. And at first when I'm applying it, it doesn't seem like I'm putting a lot on, but she's good. Another product from Minted is their blush. This one is in clay too much. First of all, their packaging is just stunner. This blush is I have this blush, you know, on my high cheeks and I have it on my nose. It's a very subtle blush, but if you put too much, like I did on my nose, you can definitely see how pigmented it is. It is just freaking gorgeous. It's gorgeous. And I know I say this every time, but this is so gorgeous for deeper skin tones. When I say that, I just want to clarify and do a disclaimer. When I say this looks good on deeper skin tones, I don't mean it only looks good on deeper skin tones. I'm just saying for those who are deeper like me and a little bit deeper than me, it is hard for us to find makeup products. And I feel like I've talked about this before, but I just wanted to shout out to my sisters like, hey, this looks really good on your skin tone. I'm saying people who are lighter complected and paler can't wear it because it'll look good on you too. But I'm just saying like, girls, who are deeper, it looks good on you. So I just want to throw that disclaimer out there because every time I say it and I edit the videos back, I'm like, they realize, I mean, like it looks good on all skin tones, but it looks good on deep skin tones. And I say that so like my deep sisters can go out and get it. Anyway, moving on. As far as like powder under my eyes, Fenty, she is number one. Her or the Maybelline Fit Me, but Fenty is number one. Ooh, I almost forgot about concealer. So for concealer, I've been mixing two concealers lately that I've been obsessed with, and that is the Morphe concealer. This one is in the shade C325, and then I've been mixing the Hourglass and Maple. I mix these two shades and they are perfection. Do you like the Hourglass on its own? I don't think I've used the Morphe on its own. I think I got a little too light of a shade tone, so that's why I also have been mixing it. But those two together, perfect. And the last thing that I almost forgot to mention, yes, is the highlight palette. I'm just gonna put her out here. This time, I actually used all three of these shades right here. Um, yeah. If you guys don't know, Jaclyn Hill makes the best palette. This palette is the Flare palette, and I will say this is targeted towards deeper skin tones. She has another palette called, um, I don't know what it's called. It starts with the F, but there's the Flare, and then there's another one. That palette is geared towards medium to light skin tones. So if you are deep to rich, dark rich then this palette is for you i love that she did that she catered to every skin tone which is what most makeup companies should do if they would want their sales and they want you know their products being bought okay, so i don't want this video to be too long because this is going to be like a short it's my birthday video type of video so let's jump in and do the eyes so i'm going in with the new products that i purchased these are the P. Louise. I'm so late to the party. So late. I got skin tone shades and then I got two colorful shades. So I want to recreate this look right here. Not exactly that look, but I want to recreate that look as far as like being colorful. So I'm going to go in. Um, we're going to add this base to my eye. I'm going to start with pink. Okay, and then I'm gonna take this Makeup Revolution brush. I like the flat portion of it. And we're gonna blend this out. The palette I'm gonna be using is Holly Boone's. This is the Dare to be Different palette. I'm obsessed with this palette as far as like the colorful shades. This is the palette I used in that makeup video. Like I said, I'm not going to do the exact creation, but I am going to use like the similar colors. I'm going to take this really pinky shade right here called Babe, and we're going to 
put that all over my lid, especially right here. The camera, it's not picking up. There we go. It's a very peachy um, salmon pink shade. So that's gonna go in the inner corners. So pretty. I'm gonna take the purple one and we're gonna go on the other half of my eyelid. I'm just gonna flip that brush over. And we're just gonna make sure I don't go into the pink. And we're gonna bring it out a little bit. Just a little bit. We're gonna go in with Savage, and we're just gonna go just in the middle portion of it. Flip my brush over and go in with this deeper purple, which is in Zodiac. Make sure I really tap that one off. Okay, so both eyes are on. I really like how it turned out. I kind of like how this side turns out better than this side, but <laughs> we are not going to dwell on it. I really do like it. Oh, there we go. Ooh, there we go. So we're gonna do the lower lash line, why not? I'm gonna go in with the P. Louise base. This one's in white. So I'm literally going to put it on my hand because I don't want to do too much. And I want this on my lower lash line so we can add bright and colorful colors down there. So I'm going to take it on the same brush that I wiped off. And I'm going to put it up like that because that's how high up I want it. I'm going how far down I would like the color as well. So I'm thinking that's how I would want the color. I'm gonna do one eye at a time. One eye at a time. So I'm gonna go in, I was gonna use these, but I'm not. I'm gonna go in with this black smudger brush. I need two of them. Did I see another one? Yes. All right, so I think I wanna use these two shades right here, the green and the blue. So I'm gonna go in with I See You which is the blue shade and it's spelled like sea like the sea like ocean and we're gonna dab it first onto the white and I'm trying to be precise with this so I don't want it everywhere and I am rubbing it off on my hands so that way it does not have so much fallout. I'm gonna go in with another brush and I'm gonna go in with Reef, which is the sea green shade. And we're gonna do the rest of the eye. And I'm gonna mix these together so they blend out well. Oh, I like that. So we are gonna go in with eyeliner. My favorite eyeliner that I've been using lately is the Moist Story. This is the winged eyeliner that I got, oops, wrong side, that I got from Amazon. I'm obsessed with this wing liner. You literally form your own wing liner. I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna set it right above the blue and I'm gonna try to go in the same location as the blue like that. I like that. Take the other side of the eyeliner and I'm just gonna follow the same line. And I'm gonna come down like that. Fill it all in. She's fierce I like that. I'm 
go in with the ColourPop Gel Eyeliner and Teaspoon. I really like this shade. So, she's gorge. And I'm gonna line my lash line. So I'm gonna set my face with a fave Morphe. Oh, she's good. Mascaras, I have two favorites, so I'm going in with both of them. I'm gonna go in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills, and then I'm going in with the Essence Princess, Lash Princess. I'm gonna do the Essence first. I know I should only do one coat because I am wearing falsies, but I'm gonna go in with the Anastasia. Just a light coat, because like I said, I am doing falsies, but I just wanted to show you guys my favorite mascaras. A little trick I do is I take the base of the mascara that I'm obsessed with at the moment, and then I take the brush of the mascara that I'm obsessed with at the moment. I love the falsies push-up angel mascara. I love the formula but I like the formula of the Anastasia better. I take the brush from that, and that is what I use for my lower lash line because if you look at these bristles, they are perfect for your lower lash line and my non-existent lower lash line. I do too much on my lower lash line because, oops, that one's other. Because I already do not like them and look at them. They're just shitty. Lashes, because this is such a bold look, I have to go in with my extra lashes from H&B Cosmetics because oof, she is extra today so let's do that and I'll be right back okay so lashes are on like look how extra they are but they go so well with this makeup look I already applied my lipsticks I went in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills and Veronica first and then I topped it off with Kylie Cosmetics Ultra Beauty just like in the center just to give it a little you know that is the final look. Oh my goodness. If I were to go out for my birthday, 34, bitch, what? This is what I brought right now. Using my favorite products, using my favorite techniques, this is what I would rock. But because we are in a pandemic, this girl right here is going to keep it simple, and I'm okay with that. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys got some favorites out of my favorites in this video i hope you guys liked this look i'm obsessed with doing a rainbow look i think it looks really 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 good uh, especially these colors together these eyelashes are you named it extra i love this lip combo because it's like the perfect pinky like soft nude for me loving it ah the skin the base Loving it. I literally, mm, I am a dream right now. If you guys want to continue watching more videos from me, then don't forget to subscribe to my channel and check out all my videos. Give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment down below. Hit a girl up on her social medias. When this is posted, my birthday will be tomorrow, March 8th. So hit a girl up and let her know. Happy birthday. Thank you guys so much for watching this. Oh my God, I can't believe I am going to be 34. I'm going to be 34, guys. 34. Oh my god. Okay. Thank you guys so much for watching this and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.